Whole wheat's not gluten free. We could either use brown sugar. We're making some fancy waffles. Yeah. It's supposed to be like coffee espresso flavored waffles. A lot of like fancy, healthy, expensive ingredients that we don't have on hand. So we're gonna see what we can make and do with what we do have. Yeah, I found the holy grail of instant coffee. Oh my God. So we're not gonna need the Starbucks thing even. No. So here's our little poo bear. I like how we used hella different cups. I'm definitely gonna have to practice making food videos. Unless you're just like cooking in front of the camera and talking kind yeah. of thing. But otherwise. Yeah, they're really easy or really hard. Yeah. And if they're really easy, they're not that aesthetic. Yeah, like they're you. not really you. Thank you for the compliment. Because you like making things hard. I keep less exciting, okay? That's why people keep me around. Neither of us are. I'm over here trying to make almond meal and film at the same time. Shake off the egg weight. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a provocative dance or something. What? <laughs> Clearly, we do not make waffles for a living, guys. Russian recipe mm -hmm. only use I in this. So, Kasinga's mom was just telling us that we can use baking soda and vinegar yeah. to create baking powder. And I looked it up, and then baking powder is baking soda and cream of tartar, which is a dry acid, which is the same thing as this. So the part that's kind of crazy is do we do the baking soda and the vinegar in its own bowl and then put it in? Because this is turning into a science experiment, you know? And like, I'm actually nervous about that. Yeah, can you ask your mom? Because we're, we're as I told you earlier, substituting baking powder for baking soda and vinegar, which will like bubble up and that's like the stuff you put in your volcano in fifth grade or whatever science class. It sounds like and she did it at the very, very end. Okay, like after the batter is done. And she did not teaspoon out of what you school no, сверху гасишь тоже примерно like this, okay. kind of. And you will see reaction. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So now the hard part, we're gonna um, multitask a little bit. We have one waffle going, it's a huge waffle. And then we're gonna start cooking the bananas. Add the toppings later. Now onto the part that we actually enjoy and are maybe better at. Um, we're gonna plate up and style it and do a little shoot and then we'll finally eat and I cannot wait, it smells so good. So Kissing is more hardcore about this. She said we're gonna draw it out first for the composition so of the plate. we don't like screw it up, right? There's the waffle, there's that. Maple syrup. And maybe a swatch of sunflower butter. And then the banana, where could the banana go? That was that, and now we actually do it. I've never done this before. So ugly. So we're gonna mix the nut butter with coconut oil instead so that um, it's more spreadable and hopefully this works out. I didn't actually think this through, and neither did Christine. I didn't do that. So, I hope this is not too thin. I think it'll be fine. Like that, but more in one place and then. I think we could use two bananas. Yeah. It looks so, it looks like it's <laughs> limp. <laughs> We're gonna add some powdered sugar right here. Should we prepare the other one right now too? So I got Cassini's stamp of approval. She said it looked pretty, hey. <laughs> the photo shoot has commenced, but she's starting with her phone for Snapchat. <laughs> Oh, it's very see this is our plate for eating and this is the shooting plate this one's like beautiful but this one's also really really cute and like homey and inviting and i can't wait to eat like the big reward is when we finally get to eat and then <sighs> styling hack if you want things to look fancy just get a little square napkin fold it into a triangle like so put your knife and your fork on top and then slide it over next to the plate also, does the cup normally go on the left? I don't remember. It does, right? It's turned into Kasinga's photo shoot. Um, I now have a fork and a knife to pretend to eat this plate of food while she takes pictures. I'm so She said, we'll eat later. Remember when you had to cut my waffle for me? So I mixed that with the water we heated up. Yummy, yummy. So yummy, yummy. Now I'm gonna try a little bit with 
tasting his mom's homemade apricot jam and they picked the apricots themselves. Themselves? That's, that's English, yeah. Oh lord. Kathina, can you help me cut the thing too? Thanks, mom. Can you take that bite? <laughs> I missed your mouth. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not very cool, so. Neither am I.